and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 2nd of September, the local media headlines today. One of the biggest drawbacks about making important decisions in secret is that if anything goes wrong it often looks far worse than if you'd shared the information with others who arguably had a right to know. And that's why Cornwall Council's new style ultra-secret approach to anything to do with Newquay Airport looks as if it could be heading for a major backlash. The Council is forcing the closure of Cornwall's popular Aviation History Museum, a small and inoffensive collection of aircraft and memorabilia which has been at Newquay for many years. And the reason? Well, no one knows, unless they're part of a small group of officials who are thinking up ways to maximise the value of the airport estate. The museum's supporters are now on the warpath and demanding answers. County Hall has also decided that it doesn't need planning permission to knock down its large suite of offices at St Austell. Other property developers please take note. The temperature of Cornwall's debate over whether or not to have a mayor is now rising rapidly. The Isles of Scilly is going to have to tweak its bid for £48 million of taxpayers' cash for new ferries. And weather forecasters say it should rain tomorrow, which would be good news for Cornwall's reservoirs. The BBC was among the media to report the tough new restrictions on Cornwall's backyard poultry keepers. DEFRA says all chickens, ducks and geese are now supposed to be kept under cover and separate from wild birds because of bird flu. Pirate FM had another angle on bird flu looking at the impact on the Paradise Park Sanctuary. The Falmouth Packet updated readers on the dogs on beaches rules and finally Cornwall Live has a list of Cornwall's most expensive properties for sale. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.